noticed in a two South Australian start, she switches off. Now, whether it's the corners or or what, I'm not sure, but uh, she surges late. So there might be a few anxious moments for favourite punters. We'll find out. We're set to go. Here's the Bunyip race 10. Away. She began well. She's up there vying for the lead. She will clear them. Now, let's see how she handles the bend. This might be where she just switches off and wobbles around the bend. But she's out in front by two or three lengths and holding that lead. She's looking good. Yeah, she's looking too good down the back. Now, who knows? Chloe in second placing behind those was stratospheric. And at the tail was bowed down. But she's going strong today. She's liking this Gawler circuit. There's no switching off whatsoever. And she's home and hose for favourite punters. She's going to bolt it. Nanga Ali goes on to win by 11 lengths. Uh, bow down will get second. Third will be stratospheric. And the last one home was, who knows, Chloe. And the run's good, around 30 and 80. So she likes the Gawler circuit. There was no signing of switching off there at all. But at Murray Bridge and Angle Park, she did uh, begin well and then ease at some stage, like hit a flat spot. But today, no problems. She handled that uh, first turn, no worries. And once she balanced up into the back straight, there was no way they were going to catch her because she's strong at the finish. 8, 1, 6 and 4, 30 and 80 the time. 11 and a half lengths by one and a quarter. 11 and a half by one and a quarter. 8164, 329, 1618. And 30 and 80, the run. The run home was 1462, 1462.